Hello everybody, have a nice week and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a brand new figure to show you which we have all looking forward to. And today I have the Transformer Movie Masterpiece number 11, Ratchet, follow after NPM 10 Starscream. And this is a really good looking figure, let me tell you that first. And I've been waiting for this guy for quite a while to complete my 07 Transformer Autobot teams. So now I can fully replicate that LA scenes and that is really good. And now let's get to the vehicle mode itself first. And here we have Ratchet in his ambulance fire and rescue, search and rescue vehicle. And this is based after a Hummer V2, I think converted into an ambulance. And as you can see from this detail over here, this is split into, this will be the driving section and this will be the ambulance section. So people will line here. And speaking of which, they are, the paint job here is a lot different. Here we have a really 07 movie accurate. This is a green neon mixed with some yellow on it. And as you can see here, this is really nice in coloring compared to the Studio Series version. I'm going to bring in the Studio Series later for you to see. But for now, let's just have some views over this. Of course, you still have this pause symbol. And this is a really smart way to include this because I didn't know before but a lot of people tell me in my Earthrise Ratchet review is that they cannot include the Red Cross because of copyright. So I think the adding pulse here is a really nice add-on to it compared you don't have to add on a Red Cross for you to know this is an ambulance. And you got this lines over here, a pulse. You got the line search and rescue over here. And if you zoom in a little bit, I'm going to try to get that for you. You get that some decals, which said fire department, which is really nice. You got all this rubbery thing over here as details, and they are made from rubber and painted, which is really nice. You got a small Autobot logos over here, and I'll try to capture that for you. There we go. And this is painted because this is made from a clear piece of plastic. So this section is got painted. So a lot of paint going on here and I'm really impressed by that uh, you got the front section which is made from hard rubbery material you got the clear this is the light made from a clear red piece of plastic one thing I want to notice is that if you look on this side here these are all the tools for search and rescue like you have a shovel here a hammer over here a parlor this is an axe and some tools and which I don't know and you flip it over the back and you still have more search and rescue for our department and this is the door actually here so compare this size this is a little bit small I think for a door I oh, know it doesn't small because this because this is a section for transformation so this is the size of the door and in my opinion this is a really nice fitting scale to him and what can I say more it is that this will be the best vehicle mode of the Autobot from the MPM line in my opinion you got a lot more details and a lot more tools than ever before like for Bumblebee and high and jazz or it's the same paint job with optimus you got some flame but that is what we've seen before but with this ratchet over here this is a really nice add-up and for some comparison i'm gonna bring in the studio series version this is the ratchet and here we have both of them and as you can see the main difference here will be the colors because this is more greenish but this is more yellowish and I kind of like that and if you look at this like, over the studio series over here you still got all these tools that are on the MPM versions but unfortunately they're not painted that is understandable because this is the far cheaper figures but the main thing I have to complement on the MPM version will be this line over here the pause line looks more delicate and more movie accurate to me I'm not a big fan of this huge pause here over here that is just too much in my taste and of course if you flip this guy around you will see that actually the npm version is inherited a lot of transformation from the studio series you got the head at the exact same position you got the leg you got the arms but to me that is fine and also one more thing i want to talk about is this, this head over here a lot of you might look at from this angle and say this guy have a terrible head but actually if you display him from this angle the head won't be visible from this angle no from this angle still no that is a clear calculation so you won't be seeing the head 
just like with the studio series version have you ever seen the head you're not and upon that as well you got a, a lot of this nice little details you got a spare wheel on the top which can move up and down a little bit and that would be it for the vehicle mode and now let's get to size comparison for size comparison here we have ratchet with mpm bumblebee and as you can see the scale here are quite nice you still get that same cockpit scale which is a really nice job and i'm going to remove b for now and put this guy over here and I'm going to bring in the MPM Optimus, his best friend. And as you can see here, the scale is okay, but I thought that Optimus should be a little bit taller and bigger. But that is a no problem for me. The vehicle mode still look great. I know that I don't normally introduce the accessories before I get to transformation. But this is his accessories anyway. And here we have his two mini missiles port. We got his bus saw, which is kind of interesting because this is actually double jointed, so this moves separately. And this is really nicely detailed with the silver paint on it. To me, it looks better than the Starscream version. So here we have that. And of course, we got his blaster. This is the same color with him with some blue lining over here. Some silver, some black. This is actually a really nice black. This is kind of a matte black. And this is unpainted gray plastic. And the good thing is that you can store all his weapon onto his vehicle mode. So I'm going to show you that. First, this is to missile pod. As you can see over here, he got this small slot over here. You just need to plug them there, like that. There we go. For the bus saws, if you see close, you can see these two tabs over here. And if you see this, you can simply plug it onto here, like this. And then you got that straw, but that's look kind of dumb to me. And the gun should be the easiest. You can see this hole over here, you can just plug it onto here. And you can have him store all his weapon on his vehicle mode. Personally, I would not display him like this, but I, I always appreciate some weapon storage onto the figures. And now let's get to transformation. To begin with transformation, first flip this guy around. And then you're going to open this section over here. Open now and bring it forward. Do the same thing over here. Then you want to collapse this onto the wheel. And then open up this section. Bring them up and repeat. This guy is the same. At this point, you want to flip this around like this. And you actually can start removing this whole panel out. Just like this. This is double jointed. So don't be worried, repeat the same thing again on this size, and then flip this forward, and you can flip this whole section in, and that will, if you notice, there will be this tab over here, that go into this slot over here, so just like this. After that, you want to remove this slightly forward, this will bring the door out. Just like this. Now you want to bring this whole section up. Remove this down. And then split this section now. And after that, you want to bring out this whole arm section out. Just like this. Remove this whole section up like this. Then you can start bringing this leg section out, split them out, and you can see the up seeing the robot body now. Stand the figure up and then push it in like this. And you can start closing this panel in. This is quite tough, so do be careful when transforming it. Like that. Flip up this section over here and repeat the whole thing over again. So push in, flip in, bring up. This is double jointed. Flip out this heel section over here. They're quite tough as well. Okay, like that. And you can start rotating this section like so. To form the leg section of him. You can bring this up. Flip this section down. Like this. Oh, it's kind of hard to hold him. And bring in the windshield. At this point, you can start rotating this section over here. This and also we can start rotating this as well. So 
here we have Raj Hat standing up like this and you can start seeing the whole figures. Now I'm going to raise the camera up so you get a better look of him. Okay. At this point here, you see this tab over here and there will be a slot. I'm going to bring up the view. Here we go. All you want to do now is connect it like this. Uh, this is quite hard. This is kind of like the same on the same set. Uh, this piece fall off but I'll leave that to later on to fix it. It's easy. Now I want to connect them together and there we go. And now you can pre bring this like this and just fold it in. This will form the skirting armor for him. So just push this in like this. We got that skirt armor. For the upper body section, first I want to move this piece up into here uh, like this and uh, it doesn't stick it or anything you just stay like this which is kind of odd and then rotate the arms and you can start bringing the arm down and don't worry about this piece got moving because that is supposed like actual happens in the movie so don't be too worried bring this glass down door and just turn it like this and you have his arm completed now repeat the same procedure I don't kind of like feel odd about this because it's just it doesn't help like prevents me from transforming this guy on camera now you can assembling these wheels by just bring it out and fold it in there's a tab and just tap it on hit this section over here that is quite simple and you can start rotating his head out so he got this whole neck in section out just like that and the backpack now first fold in this windshield and you can see this tab over here will go into this slot over here so pulling it out and connect it like that then you can start pulling this section out and now you can collapse this bring up this whole upper section up like this at this point, there will be this pack over here that going to this slot over here. So actually, it's quite tricky. Just plug it in like that, straighten the wheel out. For this section here, you would want to bring up this whole nest, uh, like protection gear, up to the top. And after you have to see this down, you pull it down. You can start putting this to section of this bars. It, uh, inwards just like with iron high so this will taps into this you see this peg over here to go to this slot over here just tap them in like that and you can move to the other side and repeat the whole thing over again so to tap it in just adjust it a little bit it would be easier to finish him up first bring up this light over here and you can start Bending this whole section down like this. This is the position that you would want, and you can start bringing this whole section backwards, just like this. Now you just need to rotate this down and rotate this down as well, and we're done. Finishing transforming Ratchet, I could say that this is a really nice masterpiece figure. It is the fact that I really enjoy through the transformation sequence. It's really interesting, things are packing nicely except for the top of the car but that won't be a matter. And we got a nice figure with the only downwards at this mode could be the kind of big backpack and that's two lines covering the head section. To me that is a bit much but for the backpack I mean, to when we first saw the stop portion of Ratchet, a lot of people complained about how big the backpack is. But after handling it itself, I feel like this is okay. That is not too big. And I enjoy the looks of him and he's a really nice figure. And now let's get to some details of him. From the details of Ratchet, first I have to mention the face scope. The face scope is really nice with all these nice little details over here. And I'm gonna reduce the light a little bit so you can see the color because this color catch the light really nice. So this is actually painted, so they are really nice. You got a silver nose and some of that ratchet color on top. And of course you still got his blue eyes. He got a color here and it is hard to move it up to the right position because I got OCD. But there you go. So it means that he got a double spin neck, which is totally unnecessary. And one thing we 
do not know is he got an opening mouth. Yay! And look into the mouth, you can see some of the vocal box or the teeth details of a transformer, which is really nice and beautiful done. Uh, I enjoy this head sculpt. I, I think that it brings a characteristic. One thing I wish for is that if they give him this section a little bit of darker color, that would be more movie accurate, but I guess you can do that all by yourself. And we're done with that. And up to the chest, like I mentioned in the transformation, you can you have to plug this section up on here, but right after you transform it, falls off. So I would not see the necessary of it, so I just have, have to leave it dangling like this. And of course, you still got this beautiful highlight from the vehicle mode, and to me, that is really nice, really done. Moving down to the arms a little bit, and I must say, this is the best arm I have got from a long time ago, because it's just captured the right angle of ratchet arms, and with all these details, I wish there's some more paint on the hands that could make the arms popped out really nicely. But after all that, you still got this rubbery piece over here. So many people will see this uh, as a rubber and complain, but to me that is a perfectly fine thing because this is a section where you're gonna plug his weapons in. And to be honest, if you have a piece of plastic at this size, it would really be easy to crack and you don't want that to happen. And talking about the feet over, the leg section over here, you got this wheel section which is movie accurate. And then you got this section, this and this here. Uh, die cast metal actually I'm gonna show you if you flip this around you will see that this whole section front here are die, die cast piece and they painted on it so the result is a really smooth paint and I really enjoy that paint and the reason for that is that if you're gonna have die cast metal on the leg it will keep the figure standing better so it will be more solid and of course the problem with that could be the edging of the joint because they're gonna have to hold a heavier amount but don't worry about that because this is a really nice joint but I'm gonna skip through that for now so the overall leg is not a much of a different still the same color scheme and to be honest with Ratchet I'm kind of disappointed as for the robot mode he lacks some coloring as for the vehicle mode like I said he's one of the best vehicle mode ever because of the details and highlight and decals but for the robot mode it's a little bit lacking but to me that is fine because I'm not gonna display him alone so he's gonna be with all his Autobot and I think that's just gonna be beautiful so as for the weapons I had mentioned earlier in the vehicle mode so I wanna just show you how to connect them onto the robot mode so this is pretty interesting so you lift his arm up like this and then pull his arm back in and this is gonna see the tab over here I'm just gonna tap that in just like that and then you got him holding the gun and to me this is a perfect capture because if you notice in the movie his gun will always be at a slightly downwards angle and they capture this detail perfectly and I really enjoy that as for the other weapon I'm gonna bring it in so this is the missile tube and just you can simply can plug them onto here just like that so he can have firing some missiles oh, this is kind of stiff so here we have Ratchet having some missiles but I think that he only used this weapon in the 07 movie I think so if they're gonna release this guy again in the Dark of the Moon color, I think they will swap this out for some medical equipment that would be better. But that is not why we're here, so I'm just gonna remove this missile for now. Now I'm gonna bring in this perfectly new and good looking bus sauce. So just tap it in just like this, the same way you tap in with the gun. I think this is quite hard because, yeah, we go. And now he can have him slicing, dicing some Decepticons. And to me, the weapon looks really nice. Accessories are splendid. I enjoy having this display with him. I don't feel the bad of, like, you know, having this. I feel great about these accessories. And now let's get to articulation. Articulation, well, let's begin with the head. So he can look up and down a little bit. He can do a 360 spin, but that will take the whole next section with him as well. That is mostly for the transformation. Like I said, the special of this guy, he got an opening mouth, just like that. His arm can move out like this. And this is a ratchet joint, so this don't worry. You can do a full rotation over here. Oh. And this piece I've made from ball joint, connected by ball joint. So sometimes it's fell off. Just don't be worried too much. I'm gonna plug it in. He got a bicep swivel. This and a ratchet 90 degree bend of the elbow. And his hand have a rotation over here. 
and he got some movement with the finger as well that is quite interesting so you got one joint over here and one set of joint over here so yeah that is quite nice to see he got a waist swivel but that is kind of blocked because of all this in beneath him this is the kick to the front this is the kick to the back kind of limited but that is still a decent kick you got a beautiful split and you got a bend this is the bend of the knee so this is actually double jointed so that is pretty nice and when you bend the knee of him this section pull down I'm gonna do it again so when you bend the knee this section pull down so that is really nice to see you got a thigh swivel this is for transformation you've seen it already you got a, some movement at the feet and you got a pivot a slightly pivot so here we have the comparison between the Studio Series version and the Masterpiece version. And to be honest, from the body build, I think the movie Masterpiece is better than the Studio Series version. The reason, is the, the reason for that would be the Studio Series version is kind of thin and slim. Too slim for my taste. But with the Masterpiece movie, we got a much more bulkier build. And that is all I want to say because we all know that the Studio Series is supposed to be the cheap version of the figures. And now let's bring in our 07 team together. And ladies and gentlemen, here we have the full Transformer 07 Autobot team. I'm really happy to took this shot because I was really like, hoping for this. And I'm proud to be one of the first guys on YouTube that actually have Ratchet. And he's a really nice figure. And this is beyond saying, you know, I was expecting for this. I know that like Iron High and Bumblebee is somewhat of a letdown, but I'm okay with that because now looking up all of them together, I'm so happy. This is my like my inner child waking up again to see that scene on the alley when they first riding up and talk to Sam. And I mean like the scale here are really nice. You see, Ratchet is kind of on the similar height to Iron High. Bumblebee is slightly taller than Jazz, and they're all shorter than Optimus. To me, this is really nice and perfect. So this is the conclusion after my MPM 11 Ratchet v uh, review. In my opinion, this is a really nice figure and the final piece for all of you who have been waiting an MPM Autobot team from the 07 movie. And personally, he, he got some up and down points. But to me, the backpack is not too bad. And when you place him all together with the remaining cast of the Autobots, he looks really nice. I love his accessories and to be honest, He's just a nice figure, that a solid figure that you should be fun, have fun playing with. So that concludes my video of the MPM11. I hope you enjoyed this early review of Ratchet. And to those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do that and also ring the bell for upcoming videos. Follow me on Instagram as well for that is where, where I do most of my updates. And if you feel like you can help me out with future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee in the link below. Hold on out.